I'm going to show you how to make a funnel cloud in Autodesk Maya. So the first thing we need to do is create a 3D container and I'll just give you the values I'm giving it here. So uh, it's not quite in view of the window so I'll just bring it in here. Uh, yep, give it these values. So the 3D container is what contains the fluids once they've been emitted. So we can see here there's the container in the perspective view and we're going to just create a NURBS torus which is a donut like shape so um, we'll just transfer it here, here in the uh, channel box to uh, make it bigger and make it the right scale and move it to the right place so I'll uh, just give it these values here that'd be fine so as we can see the uh, NURBS torus and the container are positioned as so and if you select both of them now we can go up to uh, fluid effects and emit from object so now if we were to play out a simulation uh, the torus is emitting the default fluids and it will fill up the container until the frames finish so, uh, so yeah the next thing to do is add a volume axis field which will create the the motion that the particles need in order to become a tornado. So we're going to select the volume shape to cone and invert attenuation and give it these these values here. These values are designed pretty much so that we can get the twisting shape of the of the funnel cloud. Yeah, I've just uh, made a mistake here, so let me fix this quickly. Yeah. There we go, it's now been attached. So we can see there, the icon is for the, the cone, and that's what's happening to the fluid. I mean, you can't see much right now, so what we're going to do is adjust the parameters on the uh, volume axis field. So we're going to just change it so that it appears upside down because that's the effect we want. We want the, the cone to be pointing upwards and we want it to uh, be just off the ground and quite big. So fill in the values here as I am and what this will do when I've done the scaling is create a big cone like that and that and the space between the torus and the top of and the bottom of the cone sorry allows pressure to rise and as we can see the fluids are being affected by this cone and it's still not quite the desire we want so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to uh, the dynamic simulation and turn high detail solve on to all grids and this this effect that we see here when we simulate it looks relatively like what a tornado would look like. We can see the twisting action there quite well. So we're fairly happy with that at the moment. Um, but the next thing to do, as we can see the fluid is emitting in all directions, X, Y and Z in the 3D world, we need to uh, turn off the emitting for certain ways. So we're going to turn off both X and Z so put none on and uh, and we're going to put minus y on the y axis so that the fluids only rise in the minus y direction which is up because it's upside down the cone and as we just saw there the tornado did not um, maintain its shape because it's uh, it was coming out too quickly so what we need to do is adjust the dampness of the dynamic simulation and the higher we increase the dampness the slower the fluids will come out so this allows it to maintain its shape so which looks pretty good at the moment so the next thing to do will be to give it color so we're going to give whichever colors we want in the uh, shading colors tab so let's just find it now shading shading color here we go so uh, 
just select on the bar and we can open up this color wheel so we can choose the colors we want for the fluids and I haven't played it at the moment so you can't see the effect it's having but um let's just change color input to uh, density now if I play out the simulation we can see that it's no longer white but it looks like a grayish white color which is what we want for the the tornado but it doesn't look very it looks very rigid so what we're going to do is add a bit of turbulence so that we get the final look we want so uh, as you can see changing the input bias there changes it from the two ends of the color bar so we're going to give it 0 0.4 so it's in between and changing the transparency levels make it more or less transparent as you can see so we're going to just give it a value of 0 0.025 which is quite low um, and we need to change the turbulence so so let's uh, in the volume axis field tab we can see turbulence here so the more we increase it the more it's going to spin but we're just going to give it a value of 1 for now and see how that plays and we're relatively happy with that yeah, there's your final cloud.